Stealth
Hey, you can't just walk around here with reckless abandon. Don't you know your footprints are putting a strain on our roads? As the local tax collector, I'd be willing to overlook this minor infraction to the tune of 100 caps, which will be used to repair the damage. Handsome? Been a while since anybody's accused me of that. Ah, you're just flattering me to get on my good side. And I think it's working! Alright, I'll let you pass. But only because I like your face. You're free to pass, for now. Sometimes you get, sometimes you get got. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Prim is off limits. Some convicts from the prison up the road have taken over the town. Everyone inside is either dead or in hiding. What's more, there are two tribes of raiders causing trouble in this area as well. You'd be safer heading back up to Good Springs. We'd love to, but they don't fall under NCR jurisdiction. Even if they did, we're in no shape to protect them. We don't have the equipment to take out the convicts. And even if we did, we need some extra hands for backup. You should talk to Lieutenant Hayes. He's in a tent down the road. Just stay on the west side of the overpass if you don't want to get shot. Hey, you! This is Powder Ganger Turf. Are you fixing to get shot? Well, as the new owner of the Mojave Express, allow me to formally terminate your employment. You're fired. Then it sounds like I did you a favor. You probably would have gotten fired for gross incompetence. Oh yeah, hard to forget that ugly suit. Stood out like a sore thumb. And, and watch your tone because those thugs were great cons. Rough and tumble raiders got connections with fiends and other gangs. Try not to get on their bad side, yeah? I can help you find them, but only if you do a favor for me first. See, my gang just took over the town. We're running a tight ship, but the town isn't happy about it. They're hoping the NCR comes by and kicks us out. Or maybe a militia forms to oppose us. I need you to destroy that hope. I need you to get rid of a few folks. Namely, the NCR brass in town. And a guy named Myers hanging out at the correctional facility. He's a goody two-shoes that got locked up with the rest of us. He's a former sheriff and gunslinger, and it'd be a problem if he grew a backbone. Nobody likes him. Kind of a rat snitch. Nobody would mind if he walked right up to him and shot him point blank. Uh, 
Uh, I suppose you're right. I'll tell you what you want, but I would still appreciate it if you could spare the time to help me. Yeah, they headed south to Nipton, then likely west to Novak. They were meeting up with someone there. Vargas, I think.
killed. Ugh. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? Oh, so you're talking about one of them packages. That job had Strange written all over, but we couldn't turn down the caps. That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. A pair of dice, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Last word I have in the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. First deadbeat we hired to do the job, canceled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. Well, that's where you came in. Yeah, I got this look when he saw you next down on the courier list. His expression turned right around, asked me if your name was for real. I said, sure as lack of rain, you were still kicking. Then he turned down the job, just like that. I asked if he was sure it was good money. No, let Courier 6 carry the package, that's what he said. Like the Mojave'd sort you out or something. Then he just up and walked out. No idea. Sounds like you two had a history for him to act like that. And turn down the money, too. Hope he didn't see any trouble in that package of yours. Maybe he thought your name was bad luck. Enough for me to say. Nope. Different fella. Bigger. Had himself a face on a screen. And he talked more like you or me. Well, now that you've mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on them and he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. He may have heard where they were going. I guess I don't have anywhere better to be. A Beagle had some notes he was taking while he was eavesdropping around the Potter gangsters. He'll be your best source of information on that subject. Sure, I'll tell you what I know. 
Right now, Beagle is the closest Prim's got to any organized law, but he's still stuck up in Bison Steve. First thing I'd say is get his sorry butt out of there. Well, I'll answer what I can. Sure do. I run the courier office out of my shop. Leastways, I did before things went to hell around here. Ask away. Let's see. Been tough around here for a good while now. Worse since them thugs kidnapped our deputy. It started with the breakout from the prison up the road. First, there was just a few thugs rolling through town, but then they got organized. Now they call themselves powder gangsters or something and run around throwing dynamite and shooting people. A little while ago, a good chunk of them left whatever kind of organization they got up there to squeeze all the food and drink out of us they could. That's where we are. This here little casino brought some cash and bodies into the town before them powder gangsters came in. Now they can't rush us without eating a good bit of hot lead, but we are in a kind of box canyon. Guess this is a fitting place for that as any. I reckon that if they thought hard enough about it, they'd realize they got more bodies than we have bullets. But for now, we're safe enough in here. It's an old hotel and casino here in town. Old Laura used to rent out rooms there, but she took off months ago. Across the way from the Vicky and Vance, the other old casino. Can't miss it. Well, you can call Beagle a deputy so long as you don't harbor too high an opinion of the word. Boy was about as useful as tits on a rad scorpion. Only qualification he ever had was to be brother to the wife of the sheriff. Still, I suppose he don't deserve what's befell him. We would have considered paying the ransom if we'd had caps to spare. Gangers, gangsters, all sounds like trouble to me. See ya. Hello there. What brings you to Prim? I'm Ruby Nash. Pleased to make your acquaintance. My husband and I are Prim long-timers. He fancies himself a traitor, and I know my way around a kitchen. My specialty is a rad scorpion venom casserole. It's more appetizing than it sounds. The venom has a sharp, smoky flavor, and it numbs your mouth so fierce you'll forget you ever had a tongue. It's perfectly safe, long as you don't have sores in your mouth for the venom to find your blood. Cause that'll kill you dead. Does sound good, don't it? How many red scorpion glands you got? One's enough to make a helping. Hand it over. My mother taught me never to say something unless it was nice. So I don't have nothing to say about Prim, for the time being at least. It's a sad state of affairs. Discuss it with Mr. Nash if you care to. Just makes me want to cry. See you. Shoot, this could have been a real mint yeah. hot ride back in the day. Fixed up could have been shiny first bottle cap. Hey, do you need medical attention? True, but I'm also a genius. If you have a problem with that, I can get you a car dealer who's not as smart as me. 
used to watch Mrs. McBain heal people before the Powder Gangers killed her. She let me bandage cuts, clean tools, stuff like that. Everyone else is either too stupid to learn, too drunk to focus, or too old to hold a scalpel steady. Bye bye! Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Prem Slim at your service. Authentic cowpoke and official spokespot of the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Yeehaw! Just mosey on over to the display case and you'll see it plain as day. Quite a piece of that gun. Mint condition, never fired. You're plum loco, partner. Have you gone loco, partner? I can see the gun with my own three photo sensors from where I'm standing right now. Quit yammering on about missing guns, partner. Prim Slim's a busy man. Ain't got time for that sort of bosh. Why, this is the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum, Prim's premier tourist attraction and resort destination. Yeehaw! Where have you been, partner? Hiding under a rock? Vicky and Vance were this nation's fourth or maybe fifth most infamous celebrity outlaw couple ever. That's who they was. Prim Slim here can tell you the whole story, if you can spare a minute to hear the tale. Yahoo! I ain't had a chance to tell their tale in a mess of years. First things first, any boss you've heard about Vicky and Vance being copycats ain't nothing but ill-tempered slander. Fact is, they begun their crime spree two days before Bonnie and Clyde robbed their first bank. So who was copying who? Now true, Vicky and Vance didn't exactly cut a wide swath of murder and bank robbery across the central U.S. like Bonnie and Clyde did. It was more like a narrow swath of shoplifting check cashing fraud and gas pump drive-offs, but crime is crime. They drove reckless too. Having lived by the gun, well, Vance owned one anyway, it was only fitting that the duo of desperados would die by the gun. Perhaps it was fate itself that accidentally drove them into a crossfire between police and a gang of bank robbers in Plano, Texas. Or maybe they just didn't notice until it was too late. It's been said that Vicky would have tried to cash a bad check in that bank had she lived. We'll never know for sure. All we know is that the crossfire tore the car and both occupants to pieces, and the police issued an official apology. You can put your eyes on the genuine death car just over yonder, and there's Vance's machine gun in the case next to it. Prim is a thriving resort community located in Clark County, Nevada, right along Interstate 15. Whether you can't wait till Vegas to try your luck, or want to hit one last jackpot before you leave Nevada, Prim's your place. The town's premier attraction is the world-famous Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum, so you came to the right place, partner. <clears throat> the Bison Steve is one of Prim's less impressive casino hotels. I'd steer clear of that place, partner, if I were you. Rumor is the dealers over there cheat. And that rickety roller coaster is liable to fall down any day because it wasn't built to cold. Happy trails, partner. Well, I'll be damned. I seen you over there talking to Nash and was just getting ready to come and talk to you. Well, word is, is you damn near come back from the dead. Damn miracle, if you ask me. I'll bet you do. Way I figure it, you either got a golden horseshoe stuck up your ass, or an angel on your shoulder uh, looking out for you. Either way, that kind of talent might come in handy on a project I'm working on. You interested? Sorry about that. Reckon I got ahead of myself. Name of Steve, as in Bison Steve? Yep. 
That old place has been in the family for years, and I aim to rebuild her. But I need your help. Them goddamn convicts took over the town and got us locked up in here tighter than a virgin at Gomorrah. Hell yeah. Now that's what we need around here, somebody to take that damn Brahmin by the horns. Now that fucking beagle's a pussy. Anyhow, I need that hotel cleared out and Granny's blueprints brought back to me. They's locked up in her safe up on the second floor. After that, you'll have to make sure things is peaceful enough around here for the town folk to get back to work. But the first thing I need is them blueprints. What do you say? A whole lot of fucking caps, that's what. There ain't no casinos or a decent room around here for miles. If we can get some law in this town and get the old place fixed back up, we'd be set up to make a shitload of cash. You know what that makes us? That makes us partners. You ever wanted to stake in a casino? Here's your chance, partner. Well, hell far. I was right about you after all. Listen, it ain't much, but here's a little stuff I stashed away for a rainy day just in case. Come back and see me when you got them prints and we'll go over the rest of the plan. Damn, I almost forgot. You'll need this key. Good luck and be careful. Bye-bye.